to say, hey, I'm willing to work two, three hours a night every single day for you for free. I promise you, you're going to have people respond and say, yes, I'd love, I'd love for you to do that. Here's what you could do for me. What's up guys. So it's been a crazy chaotic week for me, just in meetings, like literally 16 plus hours a day down here in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. But we did this live Q and a last Friday. We called it live rounds with no hook. And a couple of the questions were absolutely incredible. There were some questions that came in from Lebanon, not like Lebanon PA, like Lebanon the country. Uh, and there were some other just really, really impactful questions that I thought would provide some real, real value uh, for you guys. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, we just got out of a, a meeting and literally sitting in this hotel room, uh, getting ready to jump on a call and then hopefully try to snag a quick workout before my next meeting, which does not start till 11.30 p.m. tonight. Um, so just a lot of chaos going on this week, but please enjoy this live Q&A. I think the answers will provide some value to your life. These live Q&As are so cool. Man, that's the best. Hello. Hey, Bill. Tyler Harris, how are you? I'm doing good. What's going on, man? <laughs> I'm just chilling out and watching uh, this this daily feed. Yes. Well, we appreciate that. <laughs> Not to hurt people when I say this, but there's a lot of fakeness going out there. You know, people <laughs> uh, portraying an image, and 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 that's okay. But you're just not there yet and people feel that and yeah. so 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 i guess in a way i guess my question is is where do people go after they've bought all the books and all the tapes and all this and, and these are pretty common stories with success people yeah i did that all and then all of a sudden i had to stare in the mirror and look at myself and i don't know what it was or i was a failure and it still wasn't working and that was the day my life changed and all the hundreds of thousands of books that i had bought and didn't do anything. And so, um, so I guess my question to you, and I know probably a lot of people would like and can relate to that is, um, <clears throat> where do they go from here? The first thing I'll address is the biggest truth that you said in there, which was there is so much fake stuff out there. And sometimes it's hard to know what's real versus what's fake. Um, because they can, they can fake it pretty well. <laughs> and, and that was literally the whole reason why I started putting my stuff out there. Cause I was so sick and tired of seeing it. Uh, I started being able to identify it because there usually was a very quick call to action for you to buy something very quickly. Um, and that was kind of a tell for me like, Oh, got, gotcha. This is the first thing I've ever seen this person do. And they're already sending me 10 emails a day trying to get me to sign up for their course. Um, but the reality is there's, it's almost like we have, we're crippled with content, right? Like we were, there's so much stuff out there and I don't know if I've ever really even talked about this, but I don't read at all. Like I just don't, um, I have so many books. I actually, it's the funny thing is I love books. Like I love buying them and having them. I just don't like reading them. <laughs> uh, but I think at the end of the day, like once you've read all of these books, What's going to change if you don't change? Absolutely nothing. And so for me, I think it's about the implementation of the information that's within those books. And so I kind of, kind of, I wouldn't say get a little frustrated. I, I just would say I kind of, I, I see so many people that read a lot and they consume a lot, but they do very little. And I think you would be better off taking one book, whatever that is, and really diving into it like step by step and trying to implement the things from chapter one for like weeks and then chapter two and chapter three and find books that are more like a blueprint or more like a roadmap rather than just reading one saying, ah, oh, that was good. I got a few good quotes out of it. A little, little different mindset change and move on to the next one. That's this totally other different concept. Most of these books nowadays, at least the good ones are based on these huge ideas and ways of looking at the world and ways of going about your business and changing your thoughts and 
all these different things that really it takes months to really implement anything to a degree to where it's actually going to make a change in your life from that information. And so whether that's something that you found online, whether that's a podcast that you're listening to, like there's podcasts that I've listened to over and over and over and over again. And I still will go back to them uh, when I need to. A lot of the MFCEO project, a lot of Andy's podcasts, there's, there's certain ones that I've listened to a ton. A lot of Daily V or Ask Gary V or uh, a lot of uh, other podcasts that I can think that I can recall that I would go back to over and over and over until it really sank in. Uh, we've got another question. This one's from Lebanon. From Lebanon. Lebanon, South Carolina? Yeah. Lebanon. Guys, uh, bear with us. We're trying to find the country code for Lebanon to make this phone call. <laughs> totally normal. Yes, hello. Hey, this is Tyler Harris. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, yes, thank you. What, what's your name? My name is Joe. Joe, awesome. Well, did you have a question for me? Yes, I already write my answer, my my question. I'm actually 33 years old. I'm working in a bank in Lebanon. You know, it's in the Middle East. Yes, sir. And uh, as I said, I I always want to work in fashion industry. But okay. 15 years ago, no one encouraged me. Even me, I wasn't sure what I really want. Now, after working almost nine years in the bank, I'm not satisfied, and I really want to switch my career. It's. Do you have a family? Yes. No, no, I'm not married, but I'm living with my parents. Okay, so you're not married, so that makes things easier. Um, because a lot of this, a lot of the, the answers I could give, it's so different where like if you had a wife and 15 kids versus if you're not married and no kids, that's a very different scenario, right? Like you have the, you have the ability now to live pretty low expense to be able to use all the money that you're bringing in for this new venture, right? I hope. Yeah. Okay. So in my opinion, there's two completely different ways people look at this. The first way they look at it is, okay, in my mind, in the way that I operate, I feel like I have to completely cut off, quit the job, and start the new business, and I know it's last day there, first day in the new venture, I'm all in, and I wanna just do it. There's the other opinion that says, while I am working at the bank and I am having a paycheck that's coming in, what can I do in the hours that I'm not at the bank to start the, the fashion business? Uh -huh. What can I do from the time I get home to the time I go to sleep to get that process started so that you can get some revenue coming in, some money coming in from the, the side business that will start to make it a little bit easier to make that transition. So it's not that clear cut, okay, one job's done, income goes to zero, now you're building it up. You can build up the side while you're still at the bank and then make that transition when it makes sense for you to make that jump where it doesn't hurt uh -huh. as much, right? And yeah. I can't answer that question for the, you know, that part for you. That's just based on you know what you're comfortable with. but. What, what time do you usually get off work? Like what time do you usually finish work in the day? At six o'clock afternoon. At six o'clock, okay. And so so that time from, you know, 7 p.m., 8 p.m. till midnight, till 12. Yeah. Like that's your, that is your crucial, crucial, critical time to be starting on the fashion side, in my opinion. So you, do you, uh, do you use Instagram? Yeah. So I would get on Instagram and I would start sending a direct message, a DM to anybody that is in the fashion business. And I would start in the first sentence by saying, I would like to work three hours a day for you for free every single day for the next six months. Mm -hmm. And if you send out 
500 messages to 500 people that are in the fashion industry. And I'm talking about people that are the, 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 the guy, what's the guy's name that just took over Louis Vuitton? Um, is oh, head of Louis Vuitton. Uh, Virgil Abloh. Yeah. Whether it's where it's, where it's that guy or whether it's someone that just has a fashion blog that doesn't mm-hmm. even have a huge audience, but just someone that's doing something in the fashion industry in any way to say, hey, I'm willing to work two, three hours a night every single day for you for free. I promise you, you're going to have people respond and say, yes, I'd love, I'd love for you to do that. Here's what you could do for me. And you'll, re- you'll create a relationship with that person by doing what you said you would do and, and whatever you can do to help them during those two hours that you spend from you know, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And over that time, oh. it will create an opportunity for you to learn about the fashion industry from that person. And it'll also open up doors into all the people that that person knows. And all I know is that if you do good things like that, then good things will happen to you. And that's just the way the world works. And so that's something I, I think, hope. that's just something I think practical that you could do. And now it's not going to be easy because you're going to be working all day. You're going to get off at six and you're not going to want to work from eight to 10 on a random Friday. But what's mm-hmm. the alternative? Like, if you're not happy where you're at anyways, then this is one option that you have that could actually push the needle forward towards you getting into the fi- uh, the fashion industry. And you know, the crazy thing is I have sent, I have sent messages on Instagram to people that I thought never in the world would respond. Like there's no way this guy would respond, but I'll just send the message anyway. And he responds within 25 minutes. I've had other people, okay. I've had other people that I've, I've sent 50 DMs to on Instagram over the last six months and they have not responded to one single one. But the big, but one of the biggest people did, they responded immediately. So I wouldn't be shocked if you sent out 500 messages, if one of those people that responds and actually says, yes, we'd love to give you a shot. It could be someone that's like a vice president of one of the biggest luxury brands. You just never know. But I think to yeah. make, but make sure that like the, literally the first sentence, it can say, mm-hmm. my name is Joe. I would like to work for you for free two hours a day, seven days a week for the next six months. Uh-huh. And I'm telling you, uh, okay. you're going to have someone that's going to respond. They're going to be like, yes, 